With 45,000 acres of wild South Texas bushland, Mariposa Ranch is prime whitetail habitat. But its attractions don't end there, as hunter Mark Craighead's about to find on this Ruger's Adventures. And he's pretty lean. Mariposa not only offers various game animals to hunt, whitetail, turkey, hog, javelina, they also offer various styles of hunting. Javelina, about 70 yards up. Good deer, nice rack. Beautiful buck. Look at that thing. Come on. Okay, okay thank you. Thank you. Well done. Well done. The vast and wild Mariposa Ranch in deep south Texas. This is where avid shooter, reloader, and hunter Mark Craighead, founder of Crossbreed Holsters, has traveled all the way from Missouri to hunt trophy whitetail. Hold up, one. Hold up. I know that's not a doe. Six pointer. And he's pretty lean. You know, I've never hunted South Texas, and uh, you know, y'all, you have preconceived notions and. I always thought Texas was just this big, flat, open place, you know, but uh, already just the terrain here is so different, and uh, it's everything from there's some flat open area to, uh, you know, what they call an Oakmont, which kind of looks like a, an orchard, to uh, the soil's different, it's very sandy, very soft, and pretty excited to hunt, both from, you know, a new place to be and the opportunity to actually hunt a, uh, a South Texas game ranch here at Mariposa. The Sullivan family's owned 45,000 acre Mariposa Ranch for over a century. Lying between Corpus Christi and Old Mexico, it was once one of the world's largest producers of beef cattle. Now, Mariposa has only a remnant herd of cows to help maintain habitat for wild game, its prime focus today. We hunt doves, quail, white tail, male guy, feral hogs, javelina. People come over here and say that we don't see one or two animals where we hunt, and over here, they, they, it's amazing how many animals they see, and uh, they gotta be prepared for that. <laughs> One thing that I really wanted to do on this hunt was bring my Ruger GSR, or Gunsight Scout Rifle. Ruger just came out with this rifle last year. Um, as soon as they announced it, I was just frothing at the bit to get one. I've kind of been a proponent or fan of the scout concept for many years, have built two or three myself, but never, no one really offered a factory rifle that I liked. Well, the, the Ruger Gunsight Scout Rifle changed that completely. Six pointer. And he's pretty lean. I'm gonna see if I can get a better angle on that one over there. Okay, good luck there right there. Thank you. One thing that's really neat about the Mariposa Ranch is that you can hunt safari style. It's where you go out and, you know, just like you would on an African safari, you drive until you spot an animal that you'd like to take, and then basically you spot and stalk, try to work around on him and get your shot. stock and I don't know I wouldn't say we were being unsuccessful but it was certainly challenging and uh, game was few and far between but we did spot a javelina I'd never seen them before just a very interesting looking animal
He's down. That's one shot. Well, that's a nice javelina. A little bonus for the day. Nice animal. I would not want to get bit by those. That'll make a nice trophy for the office. Let's go find some whitetail. We put the stock on a couple different groups of deer. There's a doe about 60 yards up. There's a buck with her. And he looks pretty good. Here's my impression that it's going to be a real tough show. Ruger's Adventures is brought to you by Ruger. Rugged, reliable firearms. Burris, see the light. Cheaper than dirt. America's ultimate shooting sports discounter. Crossbreed holsters, the ugliest holsters you'll ever love. And by Hornady, accurate, deadly, dependable. We put the stock on a couple different groups of deer in, in some fairly open area. Grass anywhere from knee to mid-chest high, um, some burned out Oakmont and whatnot. So fairly open country. Difficult to move through, painstakingly slow. Um, anytime you're in tall grass, it's, it's hard to move quietly because you really can't move your leg without it you know, swishing against your clothes. Oh, a doe just spotted me. Great, she snorted and took off. There he goes. We did end up getting busted, but it really got closer than I thought we would. Um, and learned a thing or two about, you know, moving through different kinds of terrain and, and still trying to do the job. As he hunts on for a trophy buck, Craighead's sights are drawn aside by another of the multiple species of big game to be found on Mariposa Ranch. Joe grew up in Michigan where he hunted whitetail, so this was his first Texas hunt, and he was surprised at the quantity of wildlife. Not knowing what to expect, Joe took the Ruger M77 Compact Magnum Rifle in 300 RCM. The Ruger M77 Compact Magnum Rifle features a smooth and crisp Ruger LC6 trigger, Mauser-type controlled feeding, powerful claw extractor, a three-position safety, and 20-inch cold hammer forward barrels. He topped the Ruger RCM rifle with a Burris Black Diamond 4.5 to 16 with ballistic flex, a scope specifically designed for long range shooting. The Burris Ballistic Flex reticle uses a copyrighted lower vertical crosshair so the shooter can compensate for bullet drop and aim dead on at targets from 100 to 500 yards out. They are every bit as skittish as a whitetail, if not worse. And the cover that these hogs were in was ridiculously thick. Visibility was maybe 10 yards. Movement, I wouldn't call it impossible. Well, it actually was. We couldn't stalk them all the way in because some of it was so thick, there was no way you were going to move through it without just crashing through it or literally having to cut branches out of your way. But even on the perimeter of it, it was so thick that uh, movement was agonizingly slow. You had to watch every single step that you put on the ground and still, while you're doing that, pay attention to the wind. It's very hard not to hurry. It's very deep here. It's hard to be quiet. They keep moving, but they keep squealing. They're not going very far. They're right over there. Oh, they just squealed again. I need a little better angle on the shot. 
she's down. Texas hog on the ground. Pretty much dropped her in her tracks. Let's go see what we've got. He's right here in the bush. Pretty sure he's gone. It's a nice little sow. So that's the first feral hog that I've ever taken. They told us when we came for Whitetail that we could take hog and javelina as well, a limit of two each. And so uh, we saw our ways off, put a stock on her, and put her down. Uh, still haven't got a Whitetail, but uh, this is a pretty good start. Mark Craighead hasn't lacked for game on Mariposa Ranch. Now it's time to bear down and find that trophy Whitetail. I've been seeing some very quality deer here in this Oakmont. There's a buck with her, and he looks pretty good. All he's got Already on Mariposa Ranch, Crossbreed Holsters founder Mark Craighead's taken a bonus javelina and wild hog. The time's come, though, for getting down to business of whitetail deer. Although we had high hopes on, on stalking the open country and uh, using distance to our advantage, um, again, we got busted a couple times. It's kind of starting to get a little frustrating trying to do it that way. So at, uh, at our guide's guidance, he suggested we might try stalking through the Oakmonts. Our guide has told us that he's seen some very quality deer here in this Oakmont. Here in a minute, we're going to stalk through and see what we can pick up. Um, the soil's great, it's very sandy. It should be easy to put on a quiet stalk. But uh, of course, we're going to have to watch out for dry branches, twigs, and things. Still pick our footsteps carefully. Um, and most of all, use the available terrain and cover to keep us between, keep between us and any deer we may spot that we want to stalk. And uh, pay attention to the wind, of course. Uh, their nose will get you every time. Lots of rubs. There were tons of rubs, just a huge, massive rub line. Very active, old scrapes and recent ones. So we knew we were on buck territory. The rut, for many species, is tied to photoperiodism, a word that describes animals' reactions to the amount of daylight. The daylight changes on different dates at different latitudes, triggering deer for one to start various mating behaviors. In South Texas, this daylight change comes late in the year. Seeing the game is a challenge. There's lots of play, just like there's lots of, you know, trees and terrain to hide you, there's lots of stuff to hide them too. So although it's, you kind of want to move through quickly and just scan as you go, you've got to force yourself to move just as slow as you do in the open country, if for no other reason than to really look. Because you're not going to see the whole deer standing there broadside like a poster. You'll see a nose, you'll see a patch of white throat, you'll see legs sticking down between some branches. shot but I couldn't get good on that I just couldn't get the angle there was brush between he and I I don't really have a brush busting cartridge and it also from an ethical standpoint couldn't get a clear enough sight picture to really be confident of the hit Just spotted. 
So I took maybe a step forward, step or two to the right, knelt back down, and right then, just that one little bit of movement, the doe, she didn't smell me because the wind was on, saw me, snorted, bucked, flagged her tail, and they were both gone. If we let them calm down, we may still be able to try. Or I might have blown it, I don't know yet. Well, wait a minute, we'll move up. Busted. Has Mark Craighead blown his last chance at a trophy Texas whitetail? Did those two deer running off spook everything else in here? Ruger's Adventures is brought to you by Ruger, rugged, reliable firearms. Burris, see the light. Cheaper than dirt, America's ultimate shooting sports discounter. Crossbreed holsters, the ugliest holsters you'll ever love. And by Hornady, accurate, deadly, dependable. Crossbreed Holsters founder Mark Craighead's bumped a very good deer in the Oak Groves on South Texas's Mariposa Ranch. Now, can he stock up on this buck again? We're in the Oakmonts. We haven't been stalking them or hunting them very long. So, you know, you got to stop and think, okay, did, did those two deer running off spook everything else in here? Or maybe not. Maybe there's still other bucks in here. Maybe there's still other doe. So I took the chance that I hadn't completely spooked them and or spooked them bad enough that they'd spooked other animals and pressed on into the Oakmont, went back into slow speed, you know, using the soil, using the cover, stopping and looking. Probably saw him about 80 yards off at first and, you know, kept trees between him and us, stalked up on him. Close to maybe 60, didn't want to get too close, but where I had a good shot. And, and it's really hard to go, go slow then because you're afraid they're going to walk off, they're going to run away, or you're going to spook them, but you've still got to be slow to not spook them, if anything else. We moved up, not a whole lot, just enough that I knew I had a good clean shot, eased out, super slow motion, knelt down. Got a real solid base, real solid platform. That's a hit. He's down. Let's go. I'm pretty sure he's dead. That is a nice deer. Is that a nine? I have to admit and I have to say this Texas hunt was the best hunt I have ever been on. Not only did, it get, did we get a great white tail buck, which is what we came for, we did it a challenging way, spot and stalk, fair chase. We got a couple bonus animals to boot, that just added to the fun, the challenge and of course the adrenaline. The terrain was incredible, just everything about it from the way things looked, the different terrain, the expanse of how big this ranch really is to uh, a great nine point buck on the ground, a rack on the wall and tons of meat in the freezer. This hunt really couldn't have gone any better. He's got a good rack. It's well outside the width of his ears, okay? Nine points, if you count Eastern style. Good solid beam. That's gonna be a good one to put on the wall. Came down here, took a javelina, a feral hog, a great white tail. Personally, I think the Ruger Gunsight Scout Rifle is one of the most versatile rifles in the lineup right now, not only among their, not only among Ruger, but uh, among most other rifle makers too. Very cool hunt, 
glad to be here at Mariposa Ranch and uh, I'll definitely be coming back. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday.